Hey everybody, welcome to my video on converting the aggregate expenditure model into an aggregate demand curve. Uh, it's going to be pretty brief, it's just about bridging the gap between this chapter and your next one. The aggregate demand model is usually where we will do most of our short term business cycle work. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the aggregate expenditure curve to create a more powerful model, or if you don't like that phrasing, I can at least say a better known model. One of the main reasons we use the aggregate demand or the aggregate expenditure model is to build this new one. So what happens to the aggregate expenditure when the price level rises? The reason we care about this is because the aggregate demand model links the price level and the aggregate demand or the GDP. So if the price level goes up, there can be at least three different effects. Now there's a wealth effect, which is that if the price level rises and nothing else rises, like for instance, if the money supply doesn't keep up, well then people's money can't buy as much as it used to. So as prices rise, aggregate expenditures will fall. There's another one called the interest rate effect. There's another one called the interest rate effect. And that is that as price levels rise, the real value of money decreases, which in a money market decreases the supply of money and raises the interest rate, which lowers investment. Another one that hits us is the international trade effect. As our prices rise, we're going to import more of other people's stuff and we're going to export less of our own stuff. So in three different ways, I just hit CI and net exports. When price level rises, aggregate expenditures are gonna fall. So let's see if we can show what happens as price rises. All three of these decrease aggregate expenditures, so let's show it. Here's one graph, it's gonna give us our aggregate expenditure line over GDP, and here's a second graph we're gonna compare it to. We're still gonna have GDP on the y-axis, but we're gonna have price level on the vertical axis. So I've swapped out my vertical axis. There's 45 degree line, here's your aggregate expenditures line, and that equilibrium corresponds to this point here, some low price level and that level of GDP. Then let's mess with our model. Let's increase the price level. Well, if we increase the price level, we decrease aggregate expenditures. So there's your decrease. And that decreases the equilibrium GDP. We get this. So at the higher price level, our point is with a lower GDP. Let's increase price level again just to get a better curve. Increase the price level. There's a decrease in aggregate expenditures, a decrease in the equilibrium GDP. You get that point. Combine a whole bunch of points like that and you start to get a curve that looks like this. And that, my friends, is the aggregate demand curve. We'll learn more about that next week, but we're going to get very familiar with this thing. So I hope this brief video is helpful to you. If not this week, maybe next week. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. Short and sweet. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck and happy econing.